a reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Some Pharisees came to Jesus, and to test him, they asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause? He answered, Have you not read the one who made them at the beginning, made them male and female? And he said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. And they said to him, Well, why then did Moses command us to give a certificate of dismissal and to divorce her? And he said to them, It was because you were so hard-hearted that Moses allowed you to divorce your wives. But at the beginning it was not so. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for unchastity, and marries another, commits adultery. And his disciples said to him, If such is the case of a man with his wife, is it better to not marry? But he said to them, Not everyone can accept this teaching, but only those to whom it is given. For there are eunuchs who have been so from birth, and there are eunuchs who have been made eunuchs by others, and there are eunuchs who have been made themselves eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Let anyone accept this who can. The word of the Lord. This passage is a continuation of Jesus having having his own disciples and the scribes and the Pharisees come to him and rather bombard him with questions about how he interprets how he interprets God's relationship to us, God's people. And sometimes these are genuine questions. Sometimes they're testing him. It says at the beginning of this story that the Pharisees are coming here and testing him. They're trying to catch him in a trap to say something inappropriate so that they can tear him down. Uh, And his disciples are trying to understand. And what Jesus is offering here when they are, are wrestling and trying to make sense of their relationships with tough topics, tough topics such as what was in their time difficult and what is certainly in our time still difficult. This idea of how to handle marriage and divorce, fidelity and infidelity, what it means to have sexual norms when there are people who don't fit neatly into the box. He goes on and on about eunuchs and eunuchs who are naturally eunuchs and eunuchs who become eunuchs afterwards by their own choice versus those who become eunuchs from the choice of others. Jesus is pointing out that we can come up with rules, but those rules that we come up with won't fully capture the nuance and complexity of what it is to be human beings in a relationship. And as much as the Pharisees come and try to trap him into saying the wrong thing, and as much as his disciples want to come and give him give them simple answers so they can just know how to make the right choices, Jesus lives into that complexity and says, yeah, we come up with rules. And we come up with these rules because we are all trying to live the way God would have us live. But our lives are quite often messy. They're quite often nuanced and complex. And and as Jesus says again and again, and he lives this out in his life, in his examples, that even when we find ourselves falling outside of the strict letter of the law, what's more important is for us to try to live into that spirit of the relationship of the law with God and with God's people. And so as much as Jesus can quote exactly um, how the rules of marriage and divorce and petition of divorce for, for fidelity or unchastity and infidelity are, Uh, And he can say, this is the standard that we have set. It's with that place of leaving room for understanding. But our relationships with God are more complex with that. You will always find yourself as being people who fall outside the normal bounds of the rules we try to create. And I want you to leave room for that for each other. Because, as he points out to the Pharisees and the disciples, you will be people who will all find yourselves falling short of the kind of people God would have you be in this world. 
You can't legislate yourself out of being in proper relationship. Instead, look to your rules as a guide and then understand yourself within them. How are these rules helping me to live with being the people, being the person God would have me be in this world? And in the end, living into that messy complexity as, as he invites us into, and I now invite you into, Jesus refuses to be trapped by the Pharisees, and he refuses to give simple solutions to his disciples, but rather inviting them into deeper relationship and wrestling with what it means to be in relationship with God and what it means to be in a faithful relationship with one another. And I commend that wrestling to us all to this day. Keep on wrestling, everyone. Amen.